Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carissa. In this video, we're going to be doing a hair tutorial. I saw it on TikTok. It's going viral, it's super cute, so stay tuned if you wanna see more. Okay, let's bring up the hair tutorial I saw and that inspired me. I also just wanted to add, I was inspired by this tutorial, but I'm also inspired by the Audrey Hepburn, the princess look, that old school, really on top of your head, updo princess vibe. So that's the vibe for this video along with the tutorial. It's called Miss Lolo underscore. She's super pretty and cute. And she it's like a really fast hair tutorial and she calls it the princess glam updo. Oh, that's a, like, these so how freaking cute. Like this is just my hair thrown up and I'm already sort of there. So I'm like, let's really do it and let's do her tutorial. So everything I'm doing in this video is from this original video. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. A few things that seem to be a little bit different is my curling iron looks a little bit bigger than hers. I'm not getting a new curling iron for this hair tutorial, so this is what we're doing. It's tapered. The tutorial itself, she sections hair at the front, which I've already done, and she does two pieces down, okay? She pulls it all up and sleeks it, which I will do in a minute, and then she braids the hair and wraps fake hair around it. So it's pretty simple, but let, let's put my hair up. I've already sectioned it off. Part in the middle and have these two pieces down. I made them a little bigger than normal because I have like a huge cowlick in the front. I don't know if you can tell. Right now it's behaving. It normally sticks up like that. So the more hair I have, the heavier it lays. So I have like a decent amount of hair on both sides. Um, I have very like hard to put up hair. I don't know how I'm white. So my hair is like fluffy and like fine. And I have a lot of it, but, but it's like not easy to put up for some reason, which is annoying, and I sleek it up all the time. Um, so there's nothing really special about how I'm doing this, but I will tell you the way I'm doing it. I'm using Got To Be Free Spray, which is like, if you wanna take your hair down later and not have it be disgusting, don't use this, because this is like a commitment. I'm not gonna use that much because I just, I hate sleeping with my hair in the Got To Be Freeze, and I don't know if I'm washing it tonight. Um, then I use a smoothing brush, Actually, let me use this brush first. I'm gonna use my regular brush from, from it's Day, Day Beauty. I got it at Sephora to like get all the hair up first. And I'm literally just sleeking it up. Like I'm just brushing it in the direction of up. I think if you really wanna sleek updo, you always have to look at the side of your head and like where your hair is here. Like draw a line from your eye line and that's the line it should be going. And that'll like give you a nice uplifted, upswept vibe. I should have pinned these, but we're already here. Let's spray a little bit more of this. Really bad with the underneath side of my hair. And on my last video, someone gave me the best tip um, and I'm still getting better at it. But she said, she was like, you need to, let me show you. I'll just show you what she, what she told me to do. She said, when you're doing the bottom, you need to look up and do it and brush it up so that way when you straighten your head back up, it's tight. And it works so much better than what I was doing before, which was a hot mess. So brush it up and look up. And putting hair up is hard work. My hair is a little too clean for this style, but that's okay. I'm gonna spray it one more time all the way around underneath. And now I'm gonna take my smoothing brush and get a little nice smooth. I have like no hair over here. But I'm gonna show you how I fix this. We're gonna fix this little bald spot um, later. So don't worry about it. And if you have the same thing, don't worry about it because I have, I have a method. I figured out for my own personal hairline and I think I'm not alone with that hairline issue so it's not really an issue I actually don't really mind having like sparse hair there it's always the way my hair has been so don't think you have an issue because you don't there's nothing wrong with it it's just a hairline no metal hair ties I always use two works better than, than the one I have this little like edge brush, it's like a smoothing brush, but tiny, and like a separator, that's how I separate my parts. And I have this gel, this one is Myel Edge Gel. 
I think I just got this at like the hair store. Um, take a little bit of my finger, lift up this so I can see what's going on, and I put it in this baby hair so I can style it over the bald part. Cause it's not really bald, it's just thinner and more like wispy under there. And I just kind of blend it in. If I'm doing anything wrong, please feel free to leave me a comment and give me some advice because I learn a lot of stuff from doing these videos. People commenting and being like, oh, next time try this. I mean, as long as you're being nice, I'm here for it. Here to learn. I am not a hairstylist. Okay, so now that looks a little bit better, right? All right, now that my hair's up, she braids the pony to attach the hair to. So I'm gonna just do a quick braid and attach it with a small elastic. I mean, and finish it with a small elastic. A little janky braid. <laughs> now, she takes her hair, she has like bundles without clips on them, and then she attaches them around her braid with bobby pins, but I actually have extensions with clips already on them, so I'm gonna go ahead and curl these with this off camera real quick, and then we're gonna attach them together, so BRB. Hey guys, quick break from the tutorial to talk about Merit Beauty. Their only sale of the year, it's 20% off items, and it starts November 21st and runs through the 28th. So let me show you what they sent me because I'm absolutely obsessed. It's $38 and it is a serum. I've already used it because I wanted to be honest about my review. It's called the Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. It's a lightweight bi-phase serum that instantly plumps and hydrates your skin, leaving you with a glass-like finish. The packaging itself, Chef's kiss. Your first order, you actually get in this beautiful, cute little bag. Like this is a makeup bag and they send you this makeup bag. This is how you close it, you just tie it. And they, it's a free makeup bag. They give it to you with your first, pur first purchase, which would be super cute as a stocking stuffer. So if you order a gift for somebody for 20% off, you can get it in this if you've never shopped there before, which I think is like so cute. Now this is a serum. They say you can put it on before your moisturizer or after your moisturizer. I can tell you that it brings instant hydration into your skin. I'm gonna use it for you right now. Now, as you can see, the serum is, it's more like of a watery texture. It's not oily, it's not thick. It's very watery and easy to put on. It grows, goes great under makeup as well. So it has 2% niacinamide, which is for brightening, four types of hyaluronic acid, which is for hydration, caffeine-rich cacao extract, which I believe that is for plumping because caffeine can plump your skin, Japanese gold thread root, which is something I've never heard of, which is for inflammation, and it's also pH balanced for a healthier skin barrier. When I tell you that this feels so smooth, but not at all tacky, and it's the perfect in-between step for your moisturizer. I have a link below so you can go check it out. Please use my link so that they know you've heard of the product from me. Do you see the glow? Instantly glowy. Um, the makeup I'll do now will just be very natural because this provided enough of a glow. I am so dry this time of year. And this is exactly what I need it as my little pick-me-up. So one more time, only sale of the year. Check out their website coming to you at 20% off. Great skin, instant glow serum. The sun is going down right now, so if the light is changing, I apologize. Okay, I just curled two of these sections. Again, I don't know that the curls, looking at her video, I don't know if these are curled enough, but we're gonna go with it. So she attaches it, these have like little clips on them. She attaches them better than I'm gonna do, but around like this. I don't know if you can see, she just, Going up the ponytail and attaching as she goes around. Okay. <laughs> so that was two strips of like the pretty long ones. I think I need more, so I'm gonna curl. It just doesn't seem like enough. I'm gonna curl two more of these. Okay, we got two more strips to go all the way around. You want to take it all the way to the top is what she says in her video. I've never done this before, so bear with me. Okay, we're all the way up to the top, clipped. And she literally says, just like this. Then you want to grab some bobby pins. Now these are key for this next step. That she I literally just hair. flips it up and starts to bobby pin it up. We're gonna trust the process because that's the only thing we can do at this point. 
We're already committed. Let me get some bobby pins. Tip it up, which I don't really get because I have this whole like braid underneath. Maybe I'll like twist it up. I'm a little confused how she flips it up. Maybe she, maybe she just leaves it like this in the back. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna flip it up and leave this big hunk. <laughs> I'm confused, hold on. How does she do this? Okay, I'm just gonna flip it up first and pin it in place. It's a big flip. Okay, and then she says to just sporadically pin in place as it looks cute. So we're gonna try. Do I look like her yet? You know, no, I don't. I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know how hers looks so cute. I'm just shaping and pinning as I go, and it kind of looks cute, right? Wait. Brent, I just start bobby pinning wherever I feel is the cutest. That's all that matters. As long as it looks like hers cute, looks like that's this. It. Hers is cute. So then I take my fake hair and had more I go back in with my wand curler and just look fake hair at than these I had. cute, effortless curls. I feel like these bangs just make the look. All right, she's not being too precious with it. She's just going for it and. Okay, that's the shaving of the top for now. I feel like the back is gonna look so messed up, so let me check it real quick. <laughs> it's actually not that messed up looking on my camera. So I'm gonna turn around here and let you guys see what it looks like. It's just kinda like thrown up, and this is the part that was my braid, but you can't see any of the like tracks from the fake hair or anything. And it looks way more full than my hair would look thrown up like this. It is giving like princess up to, which I'm kind of into. And then she just takes the curling wand again and does the bangs. Which her bangs already have a wave in them because I had my hair waved yesterday. But we're gonna, we're gonna try to do this. Oh, that's cute. If you wanna make these look like thicker in the front, I just take uh, this like comb side of the edge brush and I just back comb it like the littlest amount and then you can also spray the free spray on it and then just comb it if it looks frizzy at all just like brush not comb it brush it that looks cute um i actually kind of love it i feel like it's really cute does it look cute or am i am i wrong um i have one more final tip for you that i know that this is awesome this is the L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up. I got this in shade. It's supposed to be for grays. I don't know what shade this is. It doesn't say the shade. It looks, I have this shade, whatever that is. It's like the medium darkest. Um, and if you have like a spot on your scalp that looks sparse, like right there, let's say you wanna fill it in, you just spray it and it fills it in for you. It's so easy. I'm not gonna do it over here because I don't feel like washing it out. Um, it comes out with just like regular shampoo, but I just wanted to show you guys in case you really were struggling and like wanted a solution. I shared that last time on one of my hair videos and everyone was like, oh my God, that's a great idea. So hopefully that helps you. Um, and if you like this hair tutorial, give me a like down below, leave me a comment or an opinion or whatever. I think this is cute. This is giving princess glam. I might start doing this like all my dirty hair days. Thank you, Miss Lola. Super obsessed. If you try it, let me know. Comment down below. Like the Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.